so what's decorator pattern so decorator pattern so now we will make some of the base classes we will see so first one is the beverage class okay so beverage class is the base class so you can have then so let's see basically so we have a beverage class and here i have our description okay so which beverage so it can be a dark roast decaf espresso house blend etc so these are the uh, different beverages and you will get description about it so if you have decaf and you are adding mocha and soya to it so it should be something description should be decaf with soy and whip okay so this should be printed that's my aim if you have let's say house blend a very good name so house blend then it should print soy and if i say i'm having milk in it so it should print me something like this now we should have a cost function also that will calculate cost now the cost there will be a base cost for let's say the house blend then whatever you add soya milk etc those should get added so how should we do that so we make a abstract class so that how we will handle is we will kind of we will say that okay first everything is a beverage okay so you have let's say like a dark roast okay so i know what is the cost of dark roast 45 okay so this is there now when you add so decorator means we are decorating we are adding something extra 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 now those decorations will be done so let's be little decorative so now you decorate this dark roast with milk okay i say that okay please add milk to it someone else comes and they say that okay decorate it with soy also so soy will be also added next one comes and he or she says that decorate this one with mocha too okay so these three things are added here to the dark roast so now your cost that will be calculated will be the cost of milk soya and mocha okay so all of them will be added so the cost will now become 30 plus 25 plus 10 plus 45 so this is the decorator pattern and how we will decorate so let's try to see so we wanted our design to be loosely coupled okay so that is our aim so now what will i do so let's see so we have this beverage class so i have description unknown beverage so now it's abstract class no unknown beverage you have a method get description which returns your description and you have a abstract method double cost which returns the cost of this beverage we have one decorator so condiment decorator so this one what it does is that it has one abstract get description class okay so this is a method and it extends beverage class so now this is the one that helps you to decorate okay so let's see now we will come to dark roast so this is very important this class if you want to understand decorator pattern this is the one so dark roast this extends beverage okay and dark roast it extends the beverage class it has description dark roast coffee and its cost is this so this is the base we talked about dark roast is there now you decorate it with soya milk and so on so this is there so what happens is dark roast similarly you see decaf is there so it's a beverage its cost base cost is given here espresso so this is the cost a description given house blend so all of them are similar house blends all of them derived from the beverage class now decorating so you are decorating so for decoration what it does so this one extends from the condiment decorator now this extends from there and it has a beverage class object here okay then what happens inside this one in the constructor it takes the beverage object 
and it makes this dot beverage is beverage so this one is important here now the decoration is happening okay so you have one basic beverage now whatever you have like dark rose decaf espresso etc that will be stored here and then what you do get description so whatever the base description was let's say it was decaf so beverage dot get description will give you decaf then you add milk to it because you are decorating it with milk cost will be whatever was the cost if it was an object of espresso espresso cost will be there because it is saved here in beverage plus return 0.10 let's say it is in some dollar or something okay so 0.1 dollar so that is extra thing is added so this is the decoration part your base part plus decoration is being done okay you have mocha so mocha also if i am now decorating with mocha let's say milk was already decorated so now my object is milk plus let's say decaf so beverage will be now milk plus decaf okay now because with milk also is a condiment decorator which is itself a beverage because it extends from condiment so this is little tricky so now you have something let's say beverage here is my decaf plus milk so this will be my beverage here and then we add the description it's decaf plus milk plus you decorated it with mocha and it was the cost of decaf plus milk plus 0 0.20 of the mocha will also be added so now let's try to first see this one this is the important part here which will help you understand okay this is very important one of the most important thing which will help you understand decorator pattern so we have let's say this one beverage which one beverage three let's say this is the one we have a beverage class object beverage three and i asked for a house blend okay house blend i like it okay very much house blend i made now i want that okay i want to make myself happy so i said okay please add in my house blend soy mocha and whip so what we do i have now house blend okay so i have a house blend in that i added a soya so now what happens when we had that condiment so house blend was now my beverage class so this is there so this is simple house blend is a simple class that is derived from beverage so this can be written now i do beverage 3 is new soy beverage 3 so now what happens in the soy class i am giving an object beverage 3 which is already a house blend so now if you see the code for soy so in that soy you have now a okay so you have now a house blend okay if you see the previous code so we have a house blend in our soy this comes and gets stored here because of the constructor now we get description so house blend plus soy will be added and the cost of house blend plus 0.15 will be added so this is done here next what happens the same now this beverage object so now this beverage object is house blend added with soy so this is my object and in that now what do i add i make a new mocha class and in that i give this object as the beverage object so now it is again decorated with mocha also so this is my new object after this one this beverage 3 has been decorated with mocha also so mocha decoration now i add whip so this total thing will become beverage 3 here and you add whip to it so this one is added and so it's now house blend soya mocha plus whip so if we see this thing so now you see if we run so let's see for the third one so house blend coffee we added soya mocha and whip so the price is now 1.34 dollar so all the prices got added so soya mocha and whip soya 0.15 mocha 0 0.20 so 0.35 and whip 0.45 and you add house blend 
so 0.89 so something like 1.34 this becomes okay so that is the idea and in fact if you see here so here in fact the thing is you can add multiple times anything i like mocha a lot i ask him to add two mochas okay so you see here i added two mochas so if you see roast dark roast coffee double mocha whip 1.49 and mocha is i think the cost is 0 0.20 let's say I like mocha too much okay so i add two more mochas to my okay so one minute so what do i do i like mocha a lot i'm great fan of that i add two more mochas to my beverage too okay so now let's see what is the price it should go by 0 0.40 okay so 1.89 is the price so i think it has increased okay mocha 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 four mocha are there and it price has increased so it's working fine it's showing here also in your description you have added four mochas so this is the thing about decorator pattern it helps you reduce the code amount of code because otherwise so many combinations are there which is very difficult to write all of them so i hope you understand this about decorator pattern it's beautiful in the sense that it re reduces the number of base class okay and in fact here also the one thing that we thought about the boolean values so now if you are using four mochas that boolean now you have to have ints for them okay so i think again that will be you have to use ints for them so basically but again this is beautiful way of writing and even you had that you could not have added these description that you have four mochas in your with that boolean variable so i hope you understand this so if you like this video please share it among your friends and make my channel more famous thanks a lot